Hello everybody, I am Brandon 19 and welcome to episode 10 of our Congo campaign in European Universalis 4. So we own from Cameroon here, the African islands in the Atlantic, all the way down here to Benguela. I somehow missed that Ezerongondo is a place here, so I definitely need to pick it up uh, so that no European nation can grab it. And then uh, continue. I'm continuing around the edge here because we've already got the cape going. I have one too many colonies, though. That's an unfortunate little side effect right now. That's okay. We will handle it as best we can. Uh, the French are here. Oh, we just explored more of the Mediterranean Sea. Let's go ahead and explore the coast there because I know I should see all of it. Yep, I absolutely should. What is this? This is Aragon down here. So Aragon's really done a great job uh, taking over Castile and all that. I guess they're not really caring about going exploring overseas though. Granada is down here. And... Uh, ooh, so Morocco is allied with Mali. There's Timbuktu now, Songhai. Okay, there's lots of little crap going on. I don't really want to touch here yet. Um, that's just there. I don't really want to touch anybody outside of what I'm right now doing. You know, when I get here, I'll probably have to start thinking about what Killa might want to do against us. But I'd rather, I'd probably, once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and try to find a way to colonize that. But right now, I'm more worried about trying to force uh, those new institutions. Let's go ahead and see what's in the Baltic Sea. I mean, I can see that there's some blue-looking country there, which must be Sweden. It's gotta be, right? This game just, like, the map looks really weird. Portugal looks like it's owning some parts of Old Castile and even further inland. You know, France doesn't really have the normal control it does. It's, an all it's allied though here, okay. We're doing alright though. I, I feel like we're doing really well. We're at 980 in Lesser Namaqua land place. I'm gonna go ahead and send my guy here just to make sure I've done my job. Um, local unrest, minus three. We'll just take the minus three instead of trying to add plus one for autonomy changes. We're making a considerable amount of money when we don't have that extra guy being used. Oh, look at that whole coast being mine. Can I see the entire Baltic? I could. Yes. Go ahead and do the coast for it when that happens. Okay, let's go here to Mbata. There, 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 there. We got the 9 and it's at 60%. If I had 94 admin, it would be even better. We're making 1.2 ducats now with three going. Yeah, once I get the cape, I'm gonna kind of back off. There's no way for me to go around, is there? Nope, not unless I took this, and then I could go around to here. The reason why I don't want to go after kill was because I got to go through this territory. They're allied with Bunraro, who's way up here. Of course, I could take that out and go fight Bunraro. Once I get this done. Okay, what were you looking for? 94. I'm increasing by 8, 6, and 9. 
Oh yeah, I leveled this off differently. So he should be, it should be 977 if I redistributed. I wasn't expecting that guy to die so early. Well, let's go look at the Caribbean Sea. Let's see who's doing what over there. That's interesting. Uh, 12 new ducats just for doing absolutely nothing but accepting. Click OK. That's fine. Yeah, this is a really a nothing province there for me. That one was important to get this one to go quicker, which it's almost done. It's at 972. That one's at like 839, so it's pretty they're both pretty close. Um, Portugal is about to attack Granada. Okay, that's their own little petty squabble. I don't care. Let me send these men down to Luanda. There'll be nine of them. I do need to do this. Don't want to lose the money, but there will be pretender rebels. With no leader. Read a general. There you go. Or excuse me, eight pretenders. Cape is now done, increasing my prestige pretty far. I have plenty of money coming in now. Good job. Fought them off. Oh no, we're going to go down to Benguela. Explore their sea. We actually saw all their sea, so let's go ahead and explore the coast of that sea. Send these boys up here to Mwimba. We're at 74.96%. One more admin should... Yep, it's going to take one more throughout. So 118 admin, and then I'll get that last one. And after that, it's all going to just be, I can personally make things pop up on my own. Great advisor has died. Missionary strength plus 2%, even though I don't need that. Getting livestock out of that. There's an evangelical union with Austria somehow. Hmm. What's going on in the HRE? They still have not had their war. Oh no, they're in a religious war right now. Austria and Hungary and Savoy looks like the biggest players there. Oh no, Brandenburg's in it. Versus Munster, Burgundy, Milan... Really small war, to be honest. I mean, Brandenburg doesn't even seem like they owned Pomerania. Uh, go ahead and start exploring that for yourself. Um, yep, that's true. You never can have too much money, and we're making a ton of it. What is the trade here? Slaves in the Cape. Um, just go ahead and send that guy here. Well, no, recall him. There's no point in doing that. Lose the admin, so I don't lose the ad the uh, colonial. We'll go ahead and spin that. It's okay if we lose a little bit extra money. Where we trade? Okay, we're in the Cape of Good Hope. We can own this entire node. Oh yeah, I could own that entire node. It would be a pass-through node, but I mean, still, that'd be kind of cool to own a node. 
hundred percent it. That'd be a lot of money. Killa and Atamaro. Killa is facing Azuron. I mean, now would be the perfect time to go to war with them. There you go. Swell and done is now done. Eight pretenders and M Impasu. Which is where? All the way over here. Move that out the way. Printing press is now present there. Fight those rebels. Go right here. Attack and run. Got him knocked out. Good job. Come back over here to Yep. Pemba. What is my force limit at right now? Twenty seven. Might as well add that on. I don't see why I shouldn't. Losing our great power status. Or we lost it. Uh, Aragon, Mamluks, yeah, I mean, we're, look what we're facing up against. I mean, we're going to slowly get up there. It won't be long and we'll have more development than everybody else. South China Sea, if you can get there. We can see all that, wow. That's huge. Who is that? Utrecht has taken colonial ideas and is making their own thing too. Tumpin, Quim, or whatever, they've been waiting for people to come nearby and they just snatch them up. Scotland is occupying that part of England. What about over here? They're being occupied themselves. Mm. Let's pay off some of that debt and they'll remember it probably in the f look at how big Yao is. And I prefer the stability. Or plus 80. 7.59 here. Problem is, like, I'd like to keep 27 here, but I'd love another 27 down here. I wonder if, you know, that way I could go after these guys. Base tax, I'll always take over prestige. Might as well make them a little bit nicer. Development cost, ooh, that's a plus 35 because they were coastal desert. Cape is a grasslands. How well is this place spreading printing press? 7.82, 55, 45, 4.37, 10.03. So at least most of the hard places to get it in are going to get it fairly quickly. And I did it before institutions got to 14. It cost me 605 to do it. Of course, 131, 118, and 98 would come from my already, you know, these other places that I've been working on before. Yep, it's spreading pretty quickly through those places. Set 192. Is Oregondo is at 899, actually 905 now. We're at 197 in the treasury. South Indian Sea. 
Queen Regent Jetta is now an obsessive perfectionist. Construction costs will cost 10% more. Huh? Mm. With it costing extra, should I do it? Part of me says no. Yeah, I don't think I should. Zorgonda is now done. Send some guys here. The good news is I don't have to station critical troops anywhere else. You know, I don't have to station them in my colonies. I can just let my colony run. Trade efficiency. Okay, I'll take. Oh, weird. My name is super small and right there. You think they would try to run it like this? I guess they can't. Um, I'm still. I'm only in two now at 478. They're trying to spread into Soyo. It's at 14.29. In Pangu, that'd be 94. That's good. In Buila, does this guy have a? No, he doesn't have a ton of development. Otherwise, he it would spread very fast in it. Buha is attacking these guys. Yeah, once we start hitting a a cap there, though, I will definitely do that. Um, Southwest Pacific Sea. I'm gonna go look over here. I'm not going after Africa at all, though it is kind of pushing me in that direction. The Mamluks own up to there. That's good news. The more they own, the hard you know, the less like Ottomans are the ones that have the best military, you know, uh, you know, modifiers on their side. So as long as they, you know, I have to go all the way to here. I have to own like Gaza and Sina like the Sinai area. If I can keep that going in my favor and keep the Ottomans out of that, that's going to make this so much easier. Roro cannot, yeah. So they're coming back, yeah. They're coming back down here. Yeah, spread it, spread it out. Make Buha a little bit easier for me to take. Can't tell if Azran won some of this or if they lost it. Kill, yeah, definitely that happened though against them. African East Coast. Oh, maybe it's the Atlantic East Coast I clicked. 15 autonomy in Cape. Rather let them do it themselves. I could spend a little bit here. Yeah, that would make that much easier on me. Institutions, it costs 356. Soyo is a big one. Nagoyo and Luongo are the next two. He's at 80. He's at 16. He's at 8.47. Yaka's a 30.48 one. Once I get rid of, once I get this one done in Soyo, it won't matter. I'll go ahead and embrace it. This is at 606. This one is at 272. 27604. 
God is with Pedro. We have a 3-4-2 as our new king with a 2-3-0 heir, Alfonso. These guys will rise up in Benguela, so let's go ahead and send them down here. Pedro is malevolent, so he gets Larry Desire and Subjects plus 5%. We'll fight. Catch up with them here. And we won. Which is no big deal. Uh, take those guys back to there. We still got 376. Um, let me look at my guy real fast before I go and do anything. He's a 342, which is better than you know what we thought we would ever have, I guess. Unfortunately, he's malevolent. He's 15, and he has a... There's another heir who's 10. What? How'd that work out? Um, I'm not going to worry about it. Maybe it's like a brother. I'm not sure. Oh, well. Um, this does need to stay on here, though. I was thinking about taking it off, but I don't need to. Uh, institution cost me 293 How far away is Nagoyo? Quite a bit. How far away is Luongo? 0.59, 0.59. Um, Yaka, 0.49, yeah, so I'll go ahead and do this one right here, embrace, stability cost, um, it took me how long? 19 years to do it, so could have been much worse. And then these guys are almost ready to go, so I can start catching up. France is at 13, 14, 14, and we are at 11, 11, 11. So we're behind, but we're not too far behind. These guys are really far behind except for military. We're behind them actually in that, which we'll actually catch up here too. So, all right guys, I am going to have to end it right here. appreciate y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Be check out the link for Discord in the description below. And I'll see you all next time.